Have you ever wondered why kind-hearted people often struggle financially? It's a question that has puzzled many. We see generosity and compassion in others. Yet, some struggle to make ends meet. The Bible offers insights into this seeming paradox. It teaches us that true wealth is not measured by material possessions. It emphasizes the importance of spiritual riches. Kindness, generosity and faith are more valuable than gold or silver. They are eternal treasures that bring lasting joy and fulfillment. Life can be challenging. Unexpected events happen. We may face financial hardships despite our best efforts. It's important to remember that God sees our struggles. He cares about our well-being. He promises to provide for our needs. The Bible does not condemn wealth. It recognizes that wealth can be a blessing from God, a sign of His favor and provision. It acknowledges that some people are blessed with material abundance. This abundance can be used to help others and to further God's kingdom on earth. However, it cautions against the dangers of greed and the relentless pursuit of riches. The love of money can lead to a multitude of sins and can distract us from our spiritual goals. The Bible teaches that true wealth lies in our relationship with God. Spiritual richness is far more valuable than any material possession. Proverbs 11.28 states, Whoever trusts in his riches will fall, but the righteous will thrive like a green leaf. This verse serves as a powerful reminder. This verse highlights the fleeting nature of material wealth. Just as leaves fall and plants wither, so too can our earthly riches disappear. It emphasizes the enduring nature of righteousness. Acts of kindness and charity have lasting value in the eyes of God. Jesus himself lived a simple life. He chose humility and service over luxury and opulence. He taught his followers to value spiritual treasures over material possessions. His teachings encourage us to seek a deeper connection with God. In Matthew 6, 19 through 21, Jesus said, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. This passage warns us of the impermanence of worldly goods. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Heavenly treasures are eternal and cannot be taken away. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Our hearts should be aligned with God's will and purpose. These words remind us to set our hearts on things above. We are encouraged to focus on spiritual growth and eternal values. Our focus should not be on earthly possessions. Instead, we should strive for a life of simplicity, contentment and spiritual fulfillment. One of the most powerful examples of generosity in the Bible is the story of the widow's offering. This story is found in the Gospel of Mark. In Mark 12, 41 through 44, Jesus observes people giving their money to the temple treasury. He sits down opposite the place where the offerings were put. Many rich people gave large sums. They made a show of their wealth, giving out of their abundance. Jesus noticed a poor widow. She stood out to him, not because of her appearance, but because of her actions. She gave only two small copper coins. These coins were worth very little in monetary value. This was all she had to live on. Despite her poverty, she chose to give everything she had. Jesus praised the widow's generosity. He called his disciples to him and pointed out her act of giving. He said, truly I tell you, this poor widow has put more into the treasury than all the others. Her gift was small, but her sacrifice was great. They gave out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in everything, all she had to live on. Her offering was a true act of faith and trust in God. The widow's story teaches us that true generosity is not about the amount we give. It's about the spirit in which we give. It's about the heart behind our giving. When we give with a pure heart, our small acts of kindness can have a big impact. When we give sacrificially, even when we have little, it demonstrates our love for God and others. It shows that we trust in God's provision and care for us. The book of Job tells the story of a righteous man. He faced unimaginable suffering, including financial ruin. Job lost his wealth, his children and his health. Despite these trials, Job remained faithful to God. He refused to curse God or turn away from Him. Job's experience reminds us that bad things can happen to good people. Life can be unpredictable. 
trials and hardships can test our faith. However, even in the midst of suffering, God is with us. He provides strength and comfort. Job's story teaches us the importance of perseverance. It shows us the power of faith in the face of adversity. Even when we don't understand why we are going through difficult times, we can trust in God's goodness and faithfulness. Section 5. The Purpose of Suffering Refining Our Faith In this section, we delve into the profound impact that suffering can have on our spiritual journey. Financial struggles, like other forms of suffering, can have a refining effect on our faith. These challenges often push us to our limits, forcing us to re-evaluate our priorities and seek strength beyond ourselves. They can help us grow in our dependence on God. When we face difficulties, we are reminded of our need for divine guidance and support, deepening our relationship with the Creator. They can teach us the true value of things that matter most. Through adversity, we learn to cherish our relationships, our health, and the simple joys of life that we often take for granted. 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 6-7 to says, In all this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. These words offer comfort and perspective during tough times. These have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith, of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory and honour when Jesus Christ is revealed. This analogy of gold being refined by fire illustrates the transformative power of trials. These verses remind us that trials, though painful, are temporary. They are but a moment in the grand tapestry of our lives, leading us to a brighter, more hopeful future. They serve a greater purpose. Just as a teacher molds a student or a potter shapes clay, our trials shape us into stronger, more resilient individuals. They refine our faith and make it stronger. Like an athlete who trains rigorously to build strength and endurance, our faith is fortified through the challenges we face. Just as gold is purified through fire, so too is our faith purified through trials. This process, though arduous, ultimately leads to a purer, more steadfast faith that can withstand any storm. Section 6. The Blessings of Generosity, Spiritual Abundance While financial struggles can be challenging, the Bible assures us that generosity, even in the midst of scarcity, brings spiritual blessings. When we give to others, we are investing in eternal treasures. Luke chapter 6 verse 38 states, Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. This verse teaches us that generosity is reciprocal. When we give generously, God promises to bless us in return. The blessings we receive may not always be financial, but they will be abundant and overflowing. Section 7. Trusting in God's provision, a foundation of faith. When facing financial difficulties, it's easy to become anxious and fearful. However, the Bible encourages us to trust in God's provision. He knows our needs. He promises to provide for us. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 says, My God will meet all your needs according to His glorious riches in Christ Jesus. This verse assures us that God is able to supply all our needs. He has unlimited resources. Trusting in God's provision doesn't mean we sit idly by and wait for a miracle. It means we work diligently, use our resources wisely, and believe that God will honor our efforts. The Bible reminds us that this world is temporary, our true home is in heaven. Our focus should be on seeking eternal rewards, not just material possessions. Matthew chapter 6 verse 20 says, But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. When we live generously, act with kindness and serve others, we are storing up treasures in heaven. These treasures will last for eternity. Section 9. Finding Hope Amidst Financial Struggles Financial struggles can be disheartening. However, even in the midst of difficulties, there is always hope. The Bible reminds us that God is with us. He will never leave us nor forsake us. 
Psalm 34 verse 18 says, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. When we feel overwhelmed by financial burdens, we can turn to God in prayer. He will give us strength, comfort and guidance. Section 10, Conclusion, The Enduring Value of Kindness The Bible offers profound insights into the relationship between kindness and financial well-being. While it doesn't promise that kind people will always be financially prosperous, it highlights the enduring value of generosity, compassion and faith. True wealth is not measured by the size of our bank accounts, but by the richness of our hearts. When we prioritize kindness, generosity and our relationship with God, we are laying a foundation for a life of purpose, meaning and ultimately eternal reward. Remember, even in the midst of financial challenges, we can find hope, strength and contentment in knowing that our true treasure is in heaven.